Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons. We're going to continue today the set of videos or series of videos we had on TBC. And this set of videos specifically looks at how to review raw data from a field survey in Trimble Business Center. That's one of the two main things I do in TBC besides process static data. And so you remember in the last video, hopefully we imported a data collector file for a survey we did. That's a topo and boundary. And you remember I showed you that when we dropped down uh, the point list and looked at the point list that we had some points here shown up in red. So you can see that here, uh, 10,027 and 10,028 are in red. And you'll also note that I have quite a few red flags here. Okay, so that means we got some problems in the data that we want to look at before we export, export points from Trimble Business Center. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that there's anything wrong with the data, but we want to we want to look at those flags. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on one of these points. So we'll click on 10,027. And then I'm just going to hover over the flag. And it'll tell me right now the point could not be computed. Now, depending on the problem in your data, you'll get a different message when you hover over your flag. But what that tells me is TBC doesn't have the information it needs to, to calculate the coordinate for that point. Okay, and so just for curiosity, I noticed there's a big band of points down here with that uh, that are also highlighted in red and when I hover over here I see they've got the same problem point could not be computed okay so I know there's something wrong with my data here now what typically causes that error is you're missing a control point coordinate okay and I'm cheating a little bit because I've already looked at this file and did some troubleshooting but let me show you how I'm gonna figure this out so I'm just gonna look at this point here 26247 tells me the point could not be computed okay and what I want to know is how was this point created in the data collector file? Okay, so I'm going to drop this node down here on this point, and I can say, all right, this was a point that was shot with the total station, because I can tell that here from this node. It was shot from 10,010. Okay, and so I can look over here and say, all right, yep, we recorded our HI at 10,010. I've got a target height. Okay, I've got my circle readings horizontal and vertical circles from the total stations and my slope distance okay but something happened here because you can see I got these question marks here on these distances okay so what this tells me is I've most likely got a missing control point problem right there isn't a problem with the actual total station reading because I've got these values that I need the circle readings are here right so there was a problem no way I've got my HI and my target height so it looks to me like the problem's got to be with this control point 10,010. And so let's see if we can confirm that. So we're going to roll up here and take a look at 10,010. Now, immediately I, I'm, I've got a signal here that my hunch is correct because I can see 10,010 is in red. So that means there's also a problem with 10,010. So when I hover over 10,010, I see, man, this point, point could not be computed. Okay, so... The way TBC works is kind of, it's uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe this. It processes processes your data collector files in a waterfall pattern, right? So if it can't calculate a value for 10,010, it's not going to calculate any other coordinate values that depend on the value of 10,010. So there's a, there's a ripple or a waterfall effect. Okay, now the positive thing about that is as soon as we fix this problem with 10,010, that correction should ripple through our file or, or waterfall through our file. Okay, now. What I'd like to know is why don't I have a coordinate for 10,010, okay? So what I like to do normally is go in and look at my point derivation report. That tells you how a point was calculated. But you can see when I right click and try and pull up that menu for this point, it's grayed out. That means TBC doesn't know based on this data collector file how 10,010 was created, okay? So the next best thing I can do is zoom in on this point. So we're going to say, uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on my view, and then I'm going to right-click on this point. I'm going to say center the view on that point. Okay, and you can see, man, because I don't have a coordinate for that point, TBC doesn't know where it is. All right, so this is a pretty frustrating problem. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse that, and then we're going to go down. We're going to say, well, maybe there's a clue here in the data collector file. Okay, so I can see that I shot 10,001, 10,002, 10,003, 10,004, 22,004, set up an RTN base, okay? And then if I come in here, I can see from this RTN base, I saw, shot some more control, right? So I shot 2, 3, 4, 14, 13, 12, and 5, okay? So I haven't set 10,010 yet. Now, 
I got it set up on 10,005. Okay. But as I scroll through here and look, I can see, yep, I didn't set 10,010 from that setup. Okay. Now I'm down here on 10,007. Okay. And it looks like we only did, we just did a single shot there. Come down here to this 10,007. Okay. Got a few shots here. We shot a couple topo points. Set control point 11 and 18. But again, nothing for 10,010. Come down here to 11. Set 15, control point 15, took a couple topo shots, but no 10,010. All right. And we're just going to keep doing this. We're looking for when did we set 10,010. Okay. And we're just going to see if we can find it anywhere in our, in our data. All right. So we're looking for it in one of these toll station vectors. We're looking for it in the foresight part of the vector right here. Okay. So we're looking for 10,010. All right. Okay, and so we haven't found it yet. Now, I'm going to keep doing this until I see 10,010 appear in the file for the first time. Okay, so nowhere in the file have I seen... 10,010, right, up to this point in chronological order. Now, that's a problem because as soon as I get to this node, I know that 10,010 was used as a setup point, right? And so here's the quandary I've got. I've got a point that's not anywhere in my data collector file. All of a sudden, it's been used as a total station setup, all right? So there's a couple possibilities here. What could have happened? One is 10,010 was in the d data collector file at some point, but the field crew deleted it from the data collector file, okay? The other possibility is 10,010 was shot by another crew, right? And it was used by this crew, but the coordinate was never transferred between the files. In other words, I'm missing a data collector file where 10,010 was set, okay? Now, I happen to know because I've already troubleshot this problem that that's what happened. 10,010 was included in another data collector file, okay? So we're going to go import that file for this job, and we're going to see if that, uh, that solves our problem. So we want to go ahead and import that other file, the file, the data collector file we're missing, and we're hoping that it gives us our missing coordinate for 10,010. So we're going to make the home tab active. We're going to go to import. Okay, and I know that my other missing file should be in this folder right here. So I'm going to select that. And this time we're going to grab a, what's called a DC file. Or sorry, last time was a DC file. This time we're going to grab this job file, dot job. That's the newer version of the DC file that comes from the Trimble data collectors. And I'm going to say import. Now, again, it's asking me, do you want to use the imported file, the coordinate system from the data collector file, or do you want to keep the project? Now, because I've already accepted the site calibration that came in with the first file, this time I'm going to say, nope, I want you to just ignore what's in that data collector, the coordinate system file that's in that data collector, and I want you to keep the coordinate system information that I've set in the project. And we're going to say OK. So it's going to go ahead and import our file now. Now, one of the things that will happen if you import a second data collector file into your project or any subsequent data collector file is if it sees points in common between what's already in your project, okay, kind of your project point database, if you think of it that way, if it sees a point that's in there that has the same name or number as a point in your data collector file, it's going to flag that and give you a warning. So what it's telling me right now is, hey, you've got all these points that are common between the files with duplicate values, right? And if you're under this certain tolerance, the tolerance we set in the project setting is to say, do you want me to just merge those points? And that's what we want to do in this case. I'm okay with the duplicates. There's no horizontal and vertical difference in the coordinates for those points. So we're just going to say, go ahead and import and merge those points. Okay, now it asks me, do you want to see your error and your warning from your import? I don't need to do that. I encourage you, if you're new to TBC, you always hit yes and look at those warnings, but I don't need to do that in this case. All right, now you can see it zoom extends immediately. We've got some other information from a second uh, real-time network, GNSS base, right? 
So we've added some data here. Okay, and the interesting thing is now when we drop down our point list, we can see we've got 10, nope, 10,010 has still not been created. 